Female iodas are virtually indistinguishable from males. Their clitoris is enlarged and extended to form an organ of the same size, shape, and position as the male penis. It can also be erected. Their labia are folded up and fused to form a false scrotum that is not discernibly different in external form or location from the true scrotum of males. It even contains fatty tissue forming two swellings easily mistaken for testicles. Authors of the most recent paper on spotted iodine found the appearance of males and females so close that sex could only be determined with certainty by palpation of the scrotum. Testes could be located in the scrotum of the male compared with soft adipose tissue in the false scrotum of the female. British zoologist L. Harrison Matthews wrote the most extensive anatomical description of the iodine sexual anatomy in 1939. He described the peniform clitoris, emphasizing that it is no smaller than the male penis, is equally constricted to a single slit-like opening at the tip, and is as subject to erection as its male counterpart. He concluded his dry and precise pages of description with, as forceful a statement of wonder as measured British scientific prose would allow, it is probably one of the most unusual of the forms which the external orifice of the urogenital canal takes amongst female mammals. Harrison Matthews also investigated the interesting question of how Iannas do it, given a female orifice no larger than the slit of a male's penis. In the prepubertal state, he writes, these functions are obviously impossible owing to the minute size of the opening. But as the female matures, the slit gradually lengthens and creeps down round the ventral surface, traveling down the midline until it forms an orifice 1.5 centimeters long and extending from the tip of the clitoris to its base. This lengthening of the slit and a subsequent enlargement of the nipple following pregnancy and parturition help distinguish older females from males.